So do you recall a few years back when that picture of a black and blue dress, or was it a gold and white dress, showed up all over social media and pretty much broke the internet? Or how about this recent picture that's been floating around? Do you see the red can of soda? Do you really? Let's get a quick lesson on how the eye perceives color. Light is a kind of wave, just like radio waves. The only difference between radio waves and visible light is the wavelength. X-rays, radio waves, and light waves are all part of the same electromagnetic spectrum, but only certain wavelengths can be detected by the human eye. Each of these wavelengths is a different color. Light from the sun may not seem to have any color, but in fact, every color of the rainbow is already in sunlight. Together, they make white light. Sunlight is a mixture of different colors or wavelengths. This mix of colors in white light is what lets us see colored objects. When sunlight hits a beach ball, we see only the light that bounces off of it. Different parts of the ball reflect different colors. The yellow side reflects yellow light. The blue side reflects blue light. The wavelengths that don't bounce off get absorbed as heat. Only the colors that bounce off reach your eyes. So since we know that light has a great effect on how we perceive color, when we take a look at this dress again, which is indeed black and blue, we can also see that the image is actually overexposed. We can see the dress and the background with the overexposure. There's too much light. For some people, this overexposure leads them even a little bit further. So they don't see black and blue, they see gold and white. So let's see what happens when I go into this photo editor and I take a similar blue and black dress and turn up the exposure all the way. You'll notice the blue starts to get washed out and looks more white. And the black can get washed out looking more gold. But some people will still perceive this as blue and black, while others will see white and gold. Now let's take a look at this other photo here. I asked you earlier whether or not you could see the red can of soda. When you looked at the image, you probably recognized the Coca-Cola logo. Because of that, it tricks your mind into filling in the color red. There is actually no red in this image at all. Okay, so the true test is to bring these images into Photoshop and use the eyedropper tool and take some color samples. So the first sample shows the dress is blue. Now let's try a different area. Comes up blue again. This time let's try a lighter area of the dress around the sleeve. Yep, blue, albeit a gray blue. Now let's try the opposite color of the dress. Yep, definitely coming up black. Keep in mind this image is all washed out because it's overexposed, but yep, that's black. This is a blue and black dress. Now the other image, let's go over to the pop can here. Let's click on some of the red. Nope, not red at all. How about another pixel? Comes up black. That's strange. Let's try another area. Black again. Another area. Kind of green, kind of blue, kind of gray. Doesn't matter where we click on this image. There is no red. Simply playing tricks with our minds. Our minds are filling in the blanks. We recognize the Coca-Cola logo and we automatically see red. <laughs> 